It is given to man to give up. Given to man to stop. But when a man is consistent and continuing, then a spirit is involved. A spirit is helping that man. Guess what? It is in seasons like this that you lay hold on those matters. I never knew what was happening in those days. Every night I wake up, I cry. Give me the tearing grace. The staying power. Men give up not because they want to, but they give up because they lack what it takes. They even want to, but it's no more there. Some of them will see you the way you are moving. They will say, you left us behind. You are, you know what? You don't remember us again. What they are saying is that there is no grace to tarry. We noticed that you continued. Why didn't you show us what you knew? You see, demons are not afraid. Witches are not afraid that you woke up one night and prayed from 12 to 6 in the morning. They are more afraid that you wake up every night three hours. Because what you are doing is just beyond deliverance. You are creating a civilization, an atmosphere that we host so much of God that there is nothing like witchcraft that can survive in that atmosphere again. That place has become a holigolistic zone. That is what consistency does. It is in consistency that men are established in the present truth. The present truth and revelation and the outpourings that is coming from heaven and God's agenda to bring us into the new move is an effort in futility if men are not taught on the protocols of consistency and continuity because what God does by his spirit according to what happened in the book of Acts chapter 2 was that a new regime came as a result of the outpouring of the spirit and then new possibilities we are giving to the men that we are participants in those encounters but the fruit thereof is given to them that what continued it was when they continued the scripture said that there was comfort that they were established the establishment that God ordained that we should have as a result of the encounter is as a result of continuity is as a result of consistency we will just experience the embers just the flickers of the move of God if men are not taught consistency listen to me listen 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 now the challenge is this that when god begins to walk his workings is more like in seed form that is why anytime the scripture speaks he said that the kingdom can be likened unto a seed when the sower sows is a seed are you with me now and when the mustard seed comes it's still a seed because what god gives is potentials the capacity the possibilities of the potentials the seedlings that came as a result of the outpouring is dependent on consistency and continuity it took time and by the time we came to chapter six seven eight we found out that we are men like Stephen that even though his name was not in the register of the apostles but this man hid under the incubation of the Holy Spirit he said have you forgotten me Lord what you did to Peter do to me the same Holy Ghost he realized that he wasn't different after some seasons he, we saw him reinvent a transport system that was lost we thought that the ancient part that invented that transport has has vacated the earth realm. but when Philip appeared the, the Enoch transport arrived again because of Philip we need pathfinders when you become consistent you become a pathfinder in the spirit men that research and find out the ancient past that we are lost our generation comes again and we decide to find the ways of our fathers the pathways of revival the pathways of consistency the Bible says Solomon was speaking about the environment surrounding the building of the temple he said oh God arise to your resting place 
thou and the ark of thy might he said the lord has decided to dwell in thick darkness but we have built a house for him and because we have built a house we can invoke his presence we can invoke his might we can invoke his glory we have built a tabernacle we can now host him our ambience is strong and all our secret place is strong and all our altar is strong and all Listen to me, there are certain possibilities that is not given to men of consistency. What we will be seeing is just a little here, a little there of the flickers of God's mercy. It will seem as if God is more powerful in the life of your neighbor than your own. Your challenge is lack of consistency. Satan is not moved that you did it for one month. He is not moved that you did it for two months. He is not moved. He is not moved because he knows that the water it takes for you to draw down the hand of God is a three years consistency in priesthood. So he knows that the measure of grace that you have to tarry is not enough to cross you over the river. So he is waiting for you. You think he sit and roll. No, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Pray for one minute. Give me tarrying grace, tarrying power. When others are giving up, I will be mounting a stray. The Bible said that they that wait upon the law, they are like they, 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 they mount up with wings as the eagles. Oh my God! And the Kutakapataya. Ah, ah, even the youth shall faint. The young men shall be with it, but there that wait upon the Lord, they shall mount up with wings as the eagles. They will run, they will not be tired. They will walk, they will not be faint. Oh God, we receive the testimony of consistency. We receive the testimony of continuity. We receive the grace to tarry, to tarry until the heaven comes down. Just continue. Many things we break off. Many things we stop on their own accord. It is not by the will of man. Semenai prekota kamra sabata tata badata kabata tata badata. We wait, we wait to see your face. To hear your voice by the river, we wait, we wait to see your face, we wait to hear your voice by the river, we wait, we wait to see your face. We wait to hear your voice by the river. We wait. <laughs> God must teach us the art of waiting again. The art of waiting. Teach my spirit away. <laughs> the psalmist said, Wait down, God, all oh my spirit. Wait, wait. No, no, no. You can't stop now. You can't stop now. Imante rete sasalia. Rata papina tada batalia. Yabakapa natalia. Your family members, they are waiting for you to stop. Your relatives are waiting. Your friends are waiting. Your village are waiting. Ah! Satan is waiting. <laughs> the 
said they give you one year they give you two years they say when you finish from campus the fire will go down when you finish your youth service the fire will go down when you marry the fire will go down is it true is it true is it true give me the tarim power the tarim grace the tarim answer we will not stop continue that we see the power in prayer you see you will never know how powerful prayer is you can only read it in books but you will never experience it in your life until you continue it's only there that we see that prayer can get anything done that God can do prayer there is power the power of prayer yes that is that is the power of prayer and it's only men of consistency that can find out the power in prayer so Jesus said that there is a certain woman in the city. The context was even outside of the kingdom. Yet the, 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 the factor of importunity cannot be taken away from a man that desires to have his result. Nothing can stop you if you are importunate. Nothing can stop you if you are consistent. If you continue, you will have it. Listen to me. If you continue, you will have it. No demon in hell can stop a man that decides not to stop. All Satan can do to you is to make you to stop. Because he knows that at this path that you are set up, 
continuity and consistency in opportunity is a universal law it's even it's even something that men outside of the scope of the kingdom understands when men gathered at the tower of Babel and they said let us build a tower that can reach the heavens the scripture said that even God looked down from heaven he said we need to scatter their language because these things that these men have set their heart to do nothing can stop them what have you set your heart on when you set your heart on it then you become consistent the scripture said that this man is an unjust judge he neither believes god nor man but a, a woman a woman a widow a widow that doesn't have any advantage in the natural men have looked down on her there is no neighbor no relative nobody to help you no connection but she had her knees when you have your knees you are not disadvantaged when you can pray you are not disadvantaged you have not kneeled enough you are complaining you are talking you are thinking about many things listening to many places for how long will you continue to talk why not give yourself to your knees after some seasons the scripture said that even the unjust just said i will answer this woman so that she will not weary my soul i tell you an importunate man can weary the hands of the immortals to begin to respond to the pant and desire of your heart the importunity in your heart is a, is a weapon in your hands that you can use to lean on the immortals the immortals will respond if you are consistent oh! listen listen the scripture said there in verse 8 he said when he that will come will come shall he find faith it is not a debatable fact that he will come he said i set myself upon the watch let me see what god will speak the coming and the visitations of god is something that is already ordained in his agenda now the days that we come is dependent on conduits is dependent on altars is dependent on hearts filled with certain measure of desire the scripture said in the book of proverbs he said a man um, having having separated himself secret and intermittent with all wisdom that there is a separation that is there is a consecration and there is a, a desire to unless you see the result he said I will come whether I will come is not a debate the question is that you measure like the mortals the book of first Peter said that don't count slackness as men count because God is not a man when we count and see massive eateries it's because we have not entered into the eternal realm, realm and understand his protocol his, his, his reward system that as long as a man can stay ah, what the mortals respond to it's not just that you knocked what they respond to is that anytime they appear a man is on his watch I will stand on my watch I will not leave oh how we start oh 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 Jesus.